Hey everybody, welcome to this video where we're going to expand on some hi-hat foot independence concepts that we talked about in other lessons. You can get the PDFs of this below and if you feel a bit lost, you might want to jump back and check out the other videos in this series. I'll put those links below as well. In this lesson, we're going to continue to play all the options of a group of four on our hi-hat foot one at a time. Uh, you can mix them together later. And our snare drum will fill in any missing 16th notes uh, that the hi-hat foot doesn't play and will also create a backbeat by playing an accent on two and four whether it overlaps with the hi-hat or not. We'll play one and three on the bass drum for now and I chose to play one E and on the ride just to show you that you don't have to feel stuck with the eighth notes that I wrote in the PDF. You can play any rhythm that you want on your ride hand. I suggest playing each exercise many many times until you feel really comfortable and then you can try to start improvising with your bass drum or your other limbs, mix the exercises together to create phrases. Just in general, try to have fun with it and see what you can come up with. If you'd like to see how you could apply these in a more musical setting, you can check out a video that I'll link to below that's me playing along with a backing track trying to use some of these ideas in a, in a more musical way. Now I'm going to demonstrate these exercises at 65 beats per minute. And at the end, I'm going to do a little improvisation, trying to stay focused on the theme of hi-hat foot independence. <laughs> 